Hi there, and welcome to this Photoshop video. Today we're going to be looking at the work of an artist, Greg Sands, who looks at the temporary nature of life through his photography and often removes people and leaves in their place um, pages from books. Um, he talks about, by giving me absolute past of the pose, the photographs tells me the death of the future. You know, it's quite deep and poetic. So you can see here, there's two people have been removed and instead they've got book pages. I can show you how to do that in Photoshop. So what we've got here is a photograph of a boy and a dog in the woods. We'll use this as our background photograph and we've also got the pages of a book that I took a photograph of. So what we need to do first of all is on the, the photograph we're going to be using, we need to make it black and white. So we're going to go image just for black and white. Then we add some yellow into it. So we create that effect there, okay? Now, we can zoom in again a little bit, and what we need to do is identify the area where the boy is and put the book in. So to do that, we need to obviously get the pages from the book. I'm going to take with the fold, I think. So I'll take that, I will go edit, copy, go to my other tab with the boy on it, and edit, paste. And there's my book pages. Now I want that to go approximately there, so if I make it a bit smaller, like so. Okay, now we need to swap the layer order over, so I click on the padlock in the background layer, switch it over so it's on top, and then we need to remove this area here. There are different ways of doing it, but today we're going to use the quick select tool. So we're going to click on the quick select tool, click on the layer. We're going to look up here. We've got a plus and a minus, and we've got quite a small brush. I'm going to go for a softer edge brush. So I get a smoother transition, probably about 50%. Make the brush quite small and do this really accurately, I'm going to zoom in quite a long way. I use the mouse and press space, and then I can move the picture around. So I am now going to be clicking with the collect select tool onto the person that I wish to remove and press the mouse, move the image up. down and so forth. Now you will notice as I'm doing this that some of it is not where I want it so I can use the minus make the brush a bit smaller and I can take away any pieces that I didn't want to select so that I've got a really neat I need to make the brush a bit smaller here. And there, and there. And this is a really useful technique to use even smaller. And if you need to add bits that you've missed, like the hand, and I can create that back in. And I think I need to this piece as well, because it's part of it. Take away that piece. And take away that piece. And then add that piece back in. There we go. Now, we now have a flashing area around the person. We will be simply click OK onto that. Zoom out slightly. Simply be pressing backspace and it will remove. And there, Control D is the beginning of our response. You can see we can now click on the book layer and we can move the book around till we get the most effective place for our book to go to give it the best effect. And I think it probably looks better actually like, like this. Now, using two layers and this effect 
we can create all sorts of other effects with it we could on the layer with the book we could add in a bit of a burn effect so we we'll use the burn tool down here and this this one the burn tool looks like a little hand we'll go for um, highlights and then we're literally going to go around adding a bit of darkness to the edges around here we can do the mid tones as well and it creates a little bit of depth to the picture so it looks like it's behind it i zoom in you can see what i'm doing um, we'll do the shadows as well and we're adding that little bit of depth to the picture okay there you go so if you experiment with different pictures cut bits out and play some books in and start a great sense. Thank you very much for watching this video.